Well, again, everybody, it's Plowboy, Plowboy's Ghost Channel. Real quickly, I want to show you all what I got, what I picked up, and what I did today. Just in case you're in the market for something like this, and of course, I don't ever have good lighting. This is my Ruger Super Blackhawk Bisley in 480 Ruger. And uh, this is one of the guns that I, in this caliber, I'm pretty daggum crazy about. But what I wasn't crazy about is the factory grips. Now, they look good. Anybody that's held these factory grips on these guns knows that they are slick. And I guess that might feel good on some guns if you want them to, to move around in your hand. This one, I didn't want it to move at all, especially with the Bisley grip. And 480, you know, these 400 grain bullets that I'm casting and running in this, it's recoiling a little bit. So I took a chance on some eBay grips. They were new. These are Ajax. Of course, I, once again, I've got bad lighting. It says Ruger Bisley. Of course, I can't focus on nothing. Grip frames 28 BU. Supposed to be Buffalo Polymer. Y'all, I didn't get but 20 something dollars for those grips. Now, they did not fit perfectly right out of the box. I had to uh, show you on these. The little hole right there with the pin that goes through the grip frame on the on the Ruger. Yeah, I had to enlarge it just a little bit. And then when I got it just where I wanted it, you know, so that it could slide up at another, you know, at an angle to get it where it needs to be to uh, to fit better right around and through here. And that's, that's got it fitting pretty daggum good. When I had to move the grip up in this way, so I had to open the hole down this way. I use a little JB Weld in it, and I know that's a bad word to some people. They think if you even own JB Weld, you're just, you know, a hick, and you don't know what you're doing, and you're junk in anything you touch JB Weld with. But trust me, y'all, it works just fine for stuff like this. So anyway, I didn't build a gun out of JB Weld, so chill out, y'all. Once I did that, I filled that hole up in, that, in this polymer grip. I filled that hole up on each side, and then when the JB Weld was nearly hard... But you was still even indenting in it. I got the grip lined up just right, and I pressed down against that pin so that it would leave an indentation, and then I drilled that hole exactly where it needed to be. And y'all, I have done one out and shot this gun, and the grips ain't moved at all. I think, let me see if I can get some better light. I think it's an improvement. Now, it don't fit just perfect around the corners, and I had to do a little sanding to get it right. But overall, I'm here to tell you, this grip now is a lot more secure in my hand. It's hard to believe how much more traction I'm getting on those grips right there than I was on these factory wood grips. These ain't slipping around in my hand at all, and I just shot it in the rain. And I could hold on to it, and I could hit better with it. So I think grand total with shipping was like, and tax because this come from this come from somebody that had them in the state of Alabama, so I had to pay tax on them. I think I got like twenty nine dollars in them. Y'all, I'd do that again in a heartbeat. I'd do that again in a heartbeat. So, if you don't mind sanding on it just a little and tinkering with it just a little bit, and it ain't no big deal, y'all, I ain't no gunsmith, and I'm not even but halfway. I know enough about working on stuff to get in trouble and to mess stuff up. But if I can do this for twenty something, thirty dollars. You know, to me, it's a good deal. I like the fact that, I mean, I know that I could have got some from Hogue. They've got some decent-looking black micarta grips. But theirs through here are thicker-looking because they're raised up here where the grip frame meets the grip. The grip's raised up a lot more, and I don't want a thick grip. Now, I have large hands, but I still like a thinner grip for some reason. I'm able to close my hand more around it. So, to me... You get past the fact that it's not a hundred and fifty dollar grip, and I didn't, you know, and I used a little JB weld on the inside to fill in that hole. Nothing, nothing serious, but I went out there and shot that thing several times, and I sighted it in pretty good. And it's a joy now to shoot. I can hang on to it better. To me, it's just more comfortable to shoot. I got a lot more grip on it. I think that's a winner. Anyway, y'all, appreciate you watching. Uh, going to do some more for you real soon. Got a few things planned. And, hey, subscribe if you don't mind. I ain't trying to make no money on this. Don't care about this. This is a hobby channel. But, you know, I still like, I like 
people subscribing, watching, comment. Let me know what you think, good or bad. We'll find common ground somewhere. Thanks for watching, y'all.